But we're going to see a very nice game. I'm guessing to be very physical, very fast, and I'm expecting a low score. Um, I'm going to say the BR Trojans. The Brockton Bockers have been very consistent and very good over the past few weeks. Yes, we do. Well, kickoff is about to start, and we're just going to be waiting for the refs. Well, George, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I currently do play soccer here at the high school. I've been playing it for quite a while. Um, this is my first time announcing. First time? Well, same here, same here, same here. But me, I play a different kind of football. I mean, you, it's called football, but I play football. You, you, you know, Friday night lights, pads. Hitting all of that. I mean, this is a good sport to watch, but at the same time, it's not my type of sport. You feel me? Yes, I do. Well, Brockton Boxers will be taking the kickoff. He's in the middle right now. Leandro. And Leandro will be kicking off in the center at the boxer and we'll be kicking off this 40 minute game we hope to see some action and we're off passes the ball back to the midfielder all oh, crosses the goal pass great pass great drive up the field already going down the middle of the field but is he gonna score is he gonna score plants himself shoots oh misses it by the misses the net Onto the right. That well, was we an have excellent a, example. That was an excellent drive. And excellent how precise drive. Straight the off. Boxers are. Straight off the kickoff. Excellent drive from the boxers, from the Brockton boxers. We have a corner kick. The ball is passed in. Nice cross. Through the flat on the ground. Brockton boxers retain the ball. Spinning in the box, and the ball is kicked out by the Trojan defender. Oh, very physical. Very fast. And the ball is passed back to the defenseman, ba passed back to the goalie. The goalkeeper kicks it up. Don't know what he's doing, but it seemed it was very smart. Ball's back to the goalie area. Picks up the ball. What is he going to do with the ball? Kicks the ball off. Oh, Brockton retains the kickoff. Nice header. Passes the ball into his teammate number 10. He's, he has the ball running down. Oh, f sh that should have been a foul. George, can you tell me a little bit about the sport? Well, it's a very, very fast game, very physical as well. But one thing we should be watching out for is the fouls. The fouls? Yes. So what determines a foul in this game? Well, there's different types of fouls. You're going to have fouls that are physical and non-physical. Physical meaning body to body, typically like pushing or tripping, mm -hmm. and typically off the ball. Yeah. And then you have non-physical fouls such as handballs and offsides. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing offsides is where the one of the teammate is on the wrong side of the field? Offsides is when the attacking player receives the ball and he's behind the last defender or ball. So the last defender, does that include the goalie? No, it does oh. not. Well, Brockton, Brockton has the ball with the throw in. Passes the ball, pa passes the ball into midfield, gives the ball into his midfield. They passes the ball back to the defender. Good movement on the ball. Paulo has the ball going out of field. Great pass by Paulo. Number ten has the ball, passes back to his defender, passes the ball. Brockton has very great passing. They they have very great passing. Is this, is this something you guys work on a lot? They do. We do actually. If you watch a lot of our practices and pregame warmups, all we ever do is pass the ball and pass the ball. That's good, that's good. You guys play with each other. You guys play like a team. That's very good. Teamwork is key. It is. Well, Trojan's kicking the ball off from their side of the field. Very nice kick. Passes the ball to, passes the ball past his player, and the defender has the ball. But defender bicycle kicks the ball right into the middle of the field. Oh, striker has the ball. Oh, misses it. Oh, very oh, nice, ball. nice ball. Nice ball. Uh, the goalkeeper picks up the ball, rolls it up, passes it to the defender, and tr the Trojans has the ball on halfway through the field. And the ball is kicked past Brockton's defender, and the goalkeeper comes out and kicks it. 
Brockton striker finds the ball in the air. And the Brockton seems to have most of the possession of the ball. They play with each other and they play as a team. What do you think is going to be the outcome of this game? What do you expect to be the outcome? I'm guessing that Brockton will be scoring very, very soon. They've been able to control the ball. The both midfield. sides of the field. Yeah, and both sides of the field, exactly. The only thing that they're missing right now is the shots. The sh Great pass down the middle of the field. Oh, little hesitation by number 13. Passes the ball out to his wing. Oh, great pass down the middle of the field. Oh, striker has the ball. Goes up the field. Can make one key pass. A key pass. Oh, the goalkeeper blocks oh, yeah, yeah. the ball. Yeah, yeah. Soccer play kicks in the ball. And it is a goal by Brockton Boxers. We're already on the board with 35 minutes, with five minutes gone on the clock. Good job by the Brockton Boxers already on the board. Well, just like I called, the Brockton Boxers have been knocking on the door all game, even though it's only been five minutes. And they have done an excellent job. And it looks like the finished. boxers are very ambitious. They want to score. They want the ball. And they the Trojans score, are just letting them in. And they want to win. They've been playing like a team, and it is beautiful. Well, Trojans pass the ball back to his defender. And they're playing. They're starting to look like they're playing with a team, but very terrible pass by the Brockton defender. The Brockton High has a throw in. Well, a great pass by the defender. It's passed to the middle of the field, and it looks like Brockton is ready to score again, even with just two minutes gone on the clock. Great pass to the middle of the field. The def oh, that would have been a great pass. The defender is waiting on the right, waiting for a key pass. Paulo gets the ball. Great pass down to the middle of the field. Oh, Brockton. Oh, very good. Very great. Very good pass. Oh, that would have been, oh, nice ball, but it was too far ahead of him. Good try, good try, good try. Now number two goes back to returns on defense, and the Trojans have a throw in. Oh. The and Trojans have been playing very fast, but the problem with that is they just aren't ready for it. They're standing very flat, and it looks very sloppy. It really does. It really does. Now Brockton has a throw in, and we're going to see what they're going to do with this. They have very good. They have very good numbers on this side of the field. And throwing by number thirteen, the very long, fast throw. The ball's in the box. Goalkeeper punches it out, and the ball is back out to the center field. Number two, Paulo, the defender, keeps the ball, but he kicks it out of bounds, and the Trojans have a throw in. With seven minutes gone on by the game, Brockton Boxers is leading one to zero, and they're playing very hard. They're playing very fast, and the Trojans are just letting them in. Great pass. Oh, hope he sees his player behind him. Well, he shoots for the ball, and the goalkeeper is on his knees and grabs the ball. Rolls the ball out to his player, and they're, and they're going up the field. Great pass by the Trojan, but it's just too far, and it goes out of bounds. Throw in by number two. Defenders passes the ball back. Oh, is he going to go back to the goalie or going up the field? Defender passes the ball back. Defender to the defender. Trying to stretch the ball across the field to get the ball up past half field. It looks like Brockton is trapped, but they're, really, but they're playing a key game. They're playing a mind game, and they're going to try to get in your head. Great oh, foul. Followed by the Brockton center field. The Trojans got the kick. Ball is kicked by a Trojan defender right into the Brockton defender's head. The Brockton defender heads the ball, and Brockton, Brockton center fielder is running with the ball. That is great speed, great pace, and he's going to cross the ball, crosses the ball into his player. His player receives, oh, just misses the ball by a few inches. Oh, great, good effort by his defenseman. Kicks the ball, crosses it into the net, and just too high for the player to play. Now the Trojans are on the ball. But Brockton is very determined. They're very attackative, and they want to score. Great shot was by the left foot by the defenseman, and the goalkeeper just stopped it with a scoop. That was an excellent save by the goalie. Goalkeeper keeps the ball off onto Brockton defenseman. 
The Brockton is just playing with their body. They're not afraid of the ball, and they're attacking every ball in the air. Defenseman running after the ball. Oh, that is a that should have been a foul. But good kick by the defenseman to get the ball out of there, get it out of the to get it out of their area. Ball is being played. One touch pass. One touch pass. Very nice boot. Trying to get the ball up there, but the goalkeeper just gets to it first. Brockton has been playing a lot of long through balls, which will really help them out because their main striker, number 11, Leandro, is absolutely fantastic in the air due to his massive size. Trojan will throw the ball in. Ten minutes gone by the game, and the Trojans still haven't gotten any numbers up the field. It looks like Brockton has most of the possession of the game, and they're just going to score, they're going to attack, and they're going to drive. They want to win. They have a determination to repeat what they did last year. And George, were you here to see the great things that Brockton has done last year? Yes, I was. I was so happy to be able to be there to watch them win the state title game, when, especially when they were down 2-0 going into the second half. Oh, great cross, great pass by the center fielder. Oh, great cross. Oh, great hesitation by the Brockton center fielder. Kicks the ball up. Oh, just misses it by a few inches. Trojans has the ball. But Br uh, Trojan throwing. It looks like the Trojans are ready to make a substitution. Number 34 and number 5 onto the field. We're going to see if they can do something different for the game. It looks like the ref is not letting the substitution go in. Trojans have the ball for a kick. Brockton have numbers in the back and are ready to play. Great pass by the Trojan defenseman. The ball is trying to play it in the box, but Brockton defenseman gets it out of there. And the ball is back to center field. The Trojans are trying to play back to play with each other and try to get numbers up the field. And the ref is called an offsides by the Trojan defend by the Trojan offensive men. The defenseman will kick off the ball to resume the game. Great pass by the defenseman. One touch, two pass. Get the ball up the field. They want to get their strikers and center field men up the game. Paulo is playing a very good game. He's playing like, I should say, Marcelo, playing the defensive part of the game and offensive part of the game. Wouldn't you say, George? I would say that he's doing an excellent job getting up and down the field. He has great pace, great vision, and gr he plays. Look, Paulo sees the ball going up the field, and he is ready to attack. It is great ambition by the Brockton player. Ball's in the center field, great pass by the play. Oh, great cross, trying to make a good pass and the ball is lost, but it's back to the Brockton side. Number seven has a ball, great, good hesitation, but tr they Brockton lost the ball and they got it back. Brockton plays the ball back to the defenseman, Paulo. The defenseman, Paulo's get the ball back. Oh, great hesitation, by great. Great cross by the Brockton defenseman. He's been playing a very good game, I should say. And the Trojans have the ball, but they don't know what to do with it because we have numbers. Brockton has numbers, and they're playing with each other. They're playing with a group. They're playing with a team. Every man to the ball. Should I say that? I would say that. They've been first to every single ball so far. It's very obvious that they have been dominating the game. The Trojans look like they weren't ready to play this game. They look like they don't they look like they don't want to be on this field with us. <laughs> Trojan defense Trojan offensive men goes down on a foul and it looks like he's getting back up. Good job. It was a very tactical foul just happened. The Trojans probably go on a quick counterattack, so the best way to counter a counterattack is just quickly slow down the game by committing a, uh, a very light, easy foul. Trojan kicks the ball off, tries to get it past the defenseman, but Art, but Brockton's defense is just too great. Ball is past the center field. They have numbers up the field. Center fieldman is running. He's running with his pace, using his pace to get to the ball, but just loses it. Goalkeeper gets the ball back, picks it up, and it looks like he's ready to throw it out to his play. Number 20 on the Trojans, hand ball, touches the ball with his hand, and Brockton just plays it immediately. They want to score. They want to play fast, and they, they want numbers up the field. 
And the ball is kicked out by the Trojans. Throw in for Brockton High School. Should I say the weather has changed? Yeah, about an hour ago, the weather here was absolutely horrendous. It was downpouring. It was very, very bad to play on so to play for soccer. But here, the weather has cleared up. The field is still a little bit slippery, so the ball will go a little bit faster when played on the ground. It will also skid, making it harder for the goalies. And the substitutions that came in the game. And there's about 25 minutes left to play the game, and Brockton is up 1-0. Trojan kicking. Trojans have the ball halfway through the field. Throws the ball into his player. Oh, it looks like they have, they're trying to play a very good attack, man, but just Brockton's defensive men were just are on the ball. They won the ball. The Brockton just received the ball. Great pace by the center field. Man. Oh, he's running. He's running with the ball. Oh, he just was going too fast. And the ball was moving too fast for him. The slippery field could have an effect to the ball going too fast. Am I right? Yes, it really does. When the, when the ground is wet, the ball will go a lot faster, especially when it's on the ground, along for a much harder touch and skip, making it much harder for the players. Throwing for Brockton. Brockton has the ball in the box. Very oh, beautiful shot by the by number ten, Edson Lopes. And we are in Brockton High School is up on the board 2-0 with 25 minutes left to play. Great shot outside the box and just fools the goalkeeper. And Brockton, and Brockton is up two to zero, and Trojans will kick the ball in again. It looks like Brockton High School is bringing a great defense. They're attacking, and they are they want the ball. They're very interested. If Brockton has the ball again. Go now to drive. Oh, the ball just is too far for the strikers to play. Goalkeeper has the ball. And it looks like it's a throw in for the Trojans. Trojans will throw the ball in very fast, try to play it. And it is a penalty. I mean, a foul. Foul on Brockton boxes and kick for the Trojans. Trojans will kick the ball very fast. They're trying to play fast. They want the ball inside the box. But Brockton just has a lot, a lot of defensemen. They are ready to play. They play. On the defensive side, on the defensive side, Brockton plays with a lot of numbers. On the offensive side, everybody's running to the ball. They want to score. If the BR Trojans want any chance of getting back in the game, the first thing BR needs to do is to start passing the ball to each other and playing as a team. Currently, they've been playing very selfishly, and it has not been paying off for them as they are two goals down in the first half. And the Trojans have the ball on the left side of the field. And Brockton regains the ball. The defensemen try to kick the ball, but the but Brockton is just straight to the ball. Oh, it looks like, oh, good stop by the goalkeeper diving for the ball. Good throw in by the goal, throw out by the goalkeeper. And the defenseman is playing with his team. Great pass, trying to get the ball up the field to use the numbers you have. Trojans with the ball. It looks like it looks like every time the Trojan player has the ball, Brockton brings in three defenders just to attack the ball. Is that a tactic you guys use a lot? Uh, yes, we do. We attack very fast, allowing for no space and absolutely no chance for the opponent to get a ball out of the area. Well, it looks like you have a very tall striker. Is that right? Yes. Brockton striker number 11, Leandro, is very big, allowing a lot of balls to be won in both air and on the ground. It's very, very beneficial for the Brockton boxers. Brockton boxers with the ball on their side of the field. It looks like they're going in and they want to score. They're 
Number two, Paulo with the ball, bringing the ball back up to the field. Well, it looks like Brockton is just playing a one-touch pass. They want to get numbers up the field, and they want to tire out the Trojan defenders. And it looks like it's working. Nice pass by the defender. And good shot, but just missed right by the play, by Brockton striker. That was but a great touch pass. By, wasn't that a good pass? Yeah, that was a very good pass. That was also a very good example of how high Brockton boxers' chemistry is and how comfortable they are playing with each other. Well, it looks like you guys know where each other is going to be at the right time. Look the look at the v very tall, very tall striker plays the plays the ball in the air. Gives them no chance. It looks like there is a foul on the game and it is Trojan's ball. A little bit past halfway through the field. Trojan's kick. Should you say they're trying to get numbers in the box? The Trojans right now are trying to get numbers in the box, but oh, a very, Trojan, very, very unlucky play by goalie Seth Anderson leads to a goal from long, long, long distance out by the Trojans. High unlucky, but 2-1 Brock and Boxers. With 20 minutes left in the game. Number 19 on the Trojan scored that goal, but very long pass. And the goalkeeper needs to keep his head up and play the ball. Shouldn't I say that? Yeah, the goalie needs to keep his head up. Goals like that really can damage a goalie's mental uh, work. And the best way to get over that is just to forget about it and move on. Well, it looks like Brockton is playing back on the offensive side of the ball. They already let, they're already letting that one goal past them, and they're looking to score more. Good pass by Apollo defenseman, and the Brockton is just playing with each other. They're right behind each other, and they're ready to support each other. Number two, Paulo with the ball, and the ball is turned over, and the Trojans have the ball. But Brockton looks like they're very attackative, and they want the ball. Trojans defender has the ball on the sideline. Very poor pass, but it is a foul by the Brockton defender. And the goalkeeper plays the ball, is ready, and passes it out to number two, Leandro. Good one-touch pass to get the ball up the field and get your numbers. Good pass by Brockton defender, but it looks like the Trojans are very, playing attackative. They're not letting the ball get to the Brockton boxes. They're playing the ball as it is. They're running to the ball. Oh, very chest shot by the Brockton boxes. The very nice pass, and they're just playing one-touch pass with the ball and just trying to get numbers up the field. Well, do we expect another goal in this match from the Brockton Boxers? I would expect multiple goals. The Brockton Boxers have complete domination of the ball, and I would be very surprised if they did not score multiple goals, let alone one goal in this half. And there is 18 minutes left in the first half of this game. Brockton has the ball up the, in the middle of the field. Very good pass by the striker. Playing the ball through the legs of the defender. And he's playing, he's playing a very good game. Very nice pass. Very nice touch pass. The ball is missed. And he shot the ball a little bit too wide of the net. It looks like the Trojans have substitution number two and number seven onto the field. And the ball will be kicked off by a Trojan defender, but it's a very poor ball and played by the Brockton Boxers. Ball is passed back, and the, the Brockton Boxers have the ball, and they have numbers up the field. They want to, they want to score. They are ready to attack, and it looks it's a very good pass by the Brockton player, and he shoots, but the goalkeeper just stops it with his glue, mitts, extends out. Tries to Brockton, Brockton 
player tries to cross the ball, but it just bounces off the Trojan defender. That was a beautiful save by the goalie. A 50-50 ball. Goalie dives the right way, blocks it completely, gets a full hand on it, parries it outside out of danger. Excellent job by the goalie. Passes to another yeah. defender, you know, it's like lighter stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, striker has a very good pass up the field, and it looks like Brogdon has numbers, but it's in, but it is taken away by the Trojan defender. Brogdon is playing a team game; they are playing with each other. They are ready to. They are ready to get hurt for each other, and they are ready to win for each other. They're not playing selfish. But it looks like Brockton will be ha doing a substitution of four players. Number 19, 23, 12, and number 20 will be coming into the game. Four subs coming in for Brockton. Number 12, number 23, number 19, and number 20. A switch in the defense. In fact, two switches in the defense, and two switches in the midfield could change to a more attacking formation or maybe a formation looking for more cross the tip and not doing at all. Well, good choice by the coach. She, he is ready to make sure that his starters stay in the game, stay energized, and are ready to play another half of the game. Well, the ball is kicked out, out the box by a Trojan defender, and it is throwing for Rockton High School. Number Throne will be tw throwing the ball in. Very low pass and very bo in the Brockton player just boxes him out, passes it to number seven. The ball bounces off the Trojan defender. And the Beautiful and save by the goalie. Save by the goalkeeper. After very a deflection, good extension. The goalie was able to react, dive upwards, and just barely push the ball over the bar. Beautiful save. Should we say the goalkeeper had a very good extension to the ball? Oh, goalie had a wonderful extension. The athleticism required for that kind of save is ridiculous. Well, Brockton will kick up, will kick in the corner. Ball is crossed, and it is past all defenders, and it is a throw in for the Trojans. Trojans will throw the ball in. There is a substitution in the game, and this is the third substitution by the Trojans. It looks like they're trying to get fresh blood in the game to ready ready to play. The ball it bounces off Trojan player, and Brockton intercepts the ball, and Brockton has the ball going up the field. Good cross by the defender. The ball is passed back to the defender. Goalkeeper gets the ball. What is he going to do with it? Gets the ball up the field so his striker could do something with it, but the ball just goes out of bounds and it's Trojan ball. Trojan throwing. Brockton with the reception, but the Trojans just won't quit. Striker number 13 with the ball, but he just loses it off his foot. And the ball is kicked too far past the player, and the goalkeeper receives it. Well, it looks like it's getting a little bit dark out here, and the lights are coming on. Should I say? Yes, I would. I don't think that any sort of darkness or loss of light will impact the game too much. Because the lights are on, the field is bright, everything should be fine. George, did you attend the game last Friday? The football game? Yeah, the football game. Yes, I did. Should I say Brockton Falls Sports is coming out with a great expectation this year? Should I say that? Yes, the Brockton Sports Program this fall has been absolutely astounding. They are doing very, very well, and I would be very surprised if their sports team did not do as well as they do right now. Well, we should say that the volleyball team is off to a great start with a 4-0 record. The soccer team have a great match tonight with the Trojans, and the football team won their last match, 42 to 12, against Lexington. It was 
Trojan defender with the ball, kicks it, and Brockton just intercepts the ball. Brockton throwing. Oh no, it looks like it's just a foul. Brockton has numbers in the box and ready to score again. Are we going to have the same exact thing that happened last time by the Trojans? Brockton has numbers in the box. Everybody's up, but just one defender back. Ball is crossed into the net, and it is playing in the box. Oh, he just shoots for the net and just misses too high. The ball hits the field goal post, and Trojans have a kick in. But that was a great cross by the Brockton defender. BR player down, number two, Jacob Balsamo. Well, it looks like we have a trainer coming onto the field. Well, a player gets up off his feet, and it looks like he is he does not need no assistance from the trainer. Maybe he just got a little bit winded, should I say? Maybe, but it seems like he's limping, so I'm guessing he must have gotten kicked or something must have happened to his leg. Maybe he hyperextended it but hope to see him back on the field shortly. Well, Shirojans with the kickoff. The game is being delayed for a short period of time because of the injury, but Brockton has substitutions. Goalkeeper backs up and kicks the ball off to hit Brockton defender. And the ball is played back by Brockton. Just one touch pass, getting the ball to his defender, getting numbers up the field. And it looks like they're ready to score. They're ready to attack. And they are ready to score. Ball is passed wide right. The defender gets to the ball, plays it with his feet. And it looks like he's ready to cross it. Great cross, but the goalkeeper just makes a nice grab. Gets the ball in the air. Goalkeeper boots the ball, trying to get his, his play up the field, but the Brockton defender just gets to it first. It looks like the goalkeeper will play the ball. The goalkeeper boots the ball, but it goes wide right. And Brockton defender plays the ball. Oh, very nice cross by the Trojans, but Brockton defender just plays the ball. He has the ball wide right, and it just goes out of bounds. Throwing for the Trojans. Brockton defender throws his body into the ball, but just Trojans just come out with the ball. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. That's your job. Yeah. Well, the ball is being played back to the defense, the defensive side of the game. And the Trojans have intercepted the ball, but very light foul, and they're playing the ball back. And it's Brockton just gets rid of the ball out of their section, and the striker plays the ball, plays it soft, and plays it with his team. Looks like I want to say Brockton is ready to score, but they're just playing the ball collective and calm. They're playing the ball cool, calm, and collective. I should say three Cs. They Brockton mid center fieldman loses the ball, and Trojans are playing the ball. It looks a very nice pass up the field, up to the right side of the field, and the defender just gets rid of the ball. Very nice header by the defender to get Excellent the ball out job of his box. Excellent job from BR. BR has truly been stepping up their game these past couple minutes, and it's been showing off very clearly. What? Lack of communication in this game has been clear. A lot of uh, balls have been going out of bounds. Uh, I can blame that on lack of communication. A great example just happened. Brockton and Bridgewater ran them substitution into the game, and it looks like they want to get some fresh bodies into the game to 
play. Very nice throwing by Brockton, but the Trojans just played the ball. But Brockton gets the ball back, playing it with his player, playing the ball back, trying to get the ball across the field back to his defender. And he gets the ball to wide open space. Are they going to play the ball forward onto the field or play the ball with each other? Ball goes back to the goalkeeper, passes it to the defenseman. The Brockton substitute just now, number 18, striker Marvin Dore, is a has very, very, very good pace. I wonder if Brock will take advantage of this by playing long through balls or if they will continue with their current strategy and play a lot of passes moving slowly up the field. Well, it looks like Brockton is playing the ball with each other. They're playing slow passes and trying to get the Trojan defender the Trojan defense on um, on its feet and try to get them tired and it looks like it's working looking out there for the game there is about approximately seven minutes left in the first half of the game all Trojans which gets the ball back the Trojan offensive man kicks the ball but Brockton defense just gets rid of the ball the defender comes into the play and gets tries to get rid of the ball good pass by the defenseman and the ball is going up the field. Great pass by the Brockton defenseman. And the ball is going. Oh, good pass through the two defenders and just great ball movement by Brockton. It looks like they're going up the field and they want to score. He makes this pass to his um, left wing, plays through both defenders. It looks like he wants to shoot, shoots the ball, but the goalkeeper just stops it. Brockton boxing is to slow down, relax. Oh wait, the Brockton boxing is slow down and relax and focus on their play because right now they are looking very sloppy. A lot of turnovers in the midfield have been causing the quick counterattacks, and they have been very fortunate that none of these counterattacks have led to a goal. Well, it looks like the Trojans have been playing a very good game. They've been playing the, on their heels and they want to score. They do not want to stay in the deficit, but Brockton just will not let them score. The defense is just too great for them and there's about five minutes left in the first half Brockton is up going up the field with the ball but he just lets it go out of bounds to nobody and Trojan throw in but there's a substitution in the game by Bridgewater Raynan number 35 and there's two more substitutions coming out on the to the field well it looks like the time the clear skies are going away, and we're getting a little bit cloudiness on this field, but hope we can finish this game with no thunder and no worry. But Brockton has the, but back to the game. Brockton's playing the ball with his defenseman, and they're trying to get the ball up the field. The ball is get played back to the goalie. The goalie plays it to the defender. The defender play, passes it to the right side of the field. Oh, that would have been a great pass up the field. The Brockton is playing the ball behind to their defense, but they're not playing the ball forward. Looks like they want to play. They want to play the ball relaxed. Good pass to the middle of the field. All oh, the offensive quick counterattack by Brockton. Speed. And the ball is being played. Great pass. Oh, just misses oh. the ball by inches. But great try by the goalkeeper just to stop. Excellent job by the drive. goalkeeper to cut off the angle, preventing the Brockton forward from getting any sort of uh, clean shot off of it. Yo, this is mad hard. And the Trojans have the ball. He played very physical. But Brockton just intercepts the ball, passes it to his uh, offensive man. But, the, but Brockton keeps playing the ball back behind, behind half four. Just like, like I predicted earlier in the game, this game is very physical and very fast. And BR score has not been very high, which I also predicted, but... One thing that I was not expecting, though, was that Brockton's score would be this low. I was expecting a lot more goals, but we still have a lot of soccer left to play. 
Brockton defenseman is playing the ball into the box, and he loses the ball, but he gets it back. Gets him off his heel, and foul by the Trojans right in the middle of the field. It looks like Brockton has a very direct shot from the ball to the net. Goalkeeper stands to the left of the post, wondering what he's going to do. There's a wall standing in front of the... Goal is about 30 yards away. Not as far as the goal that we saw earlier today, which was about 40 to 45 yards out, but still very possible for our shot. I'm guessing we have to be very powerful, not as precise as you would expect from a closer shot, however. Bro, Brockton shoots and it's just too high, but it goes right through the upright. The ball goes right through the upright. It's just very wrong net to play the ball into. Well, it looks like BR is trying to play the ball fast and try to get numbers up the field because the first half is almost to end and we're going to be going to the second quarter shortly. Well, very low pass by the goalkeeper to get the ball up the field, but Brockton just receives the ball back. And it looks like the possession of the game has been all theirs. Just under two minutes left to play in this first half. I wonder if Brockton will make one last push trying to get another goal or if they're going to hold back and wait for the second half to try and get more goals. Well, from the looks of it, it looks like they're playing the ball to each other. They're playing the ball back, and they just want to get the defensemen of the Trojans tired. Well, the ball is being played up the field, but intercepts by the Trojan defender. Defenseman, the ball's going up the field by Brockton, and it is passed very long. And you see him using his great pace, but he gets the ball back, and the Trojans play the ball. The Trojans have the ball, but the ball goes out of bounds, and it's a throw in for Brockton. Boxers under two minutes to go in the first half. Will we see a score in this? Do you think we'll see a score? Um, it is quite possible. The Boxers are pushing a lot of people forward, especially right now. So I would be very surprised nothing did oh, go in, but. Great. A poor cross, but obviously lead to no goals. But it is a long and poor cross across the net. Yes, yes, it was. Oh, Brockton has the ball. They're playing. Huh? What'd you say? Brockton's playing the ball up the field, up to the left side. The left wing has the ball, but he tries to stop it, but it's just too fast. The ball is moving way too fast for the offensive men. And the goalkeeper has the ball and is ready to kick off. Goalkeeper sets his feet, passes the ball to his defender, and they look like they're playing regular. It's one touch soccer, and Brockton just defends the ball and it's out of bounds, a Trojan throw in. Well, it looks like we have a very good outing at this soccer game for the Brockton's first home game. And we expect more people to come as the season rolls out. Oh, very good power kick by Brockton defenseman. And it just looks like Brockton is playing the ball wherever it is in the sky, on the ground, and they are not afraid to attack. The ball is kicked out of bounds. Brockton throwing. ball is thrown in and played close to its player and it looks like it's going to get crossed very good play the ball is crossed into the net missed very poorly handled but Brockton defender just gets the ball but Trojans receives the ball and Trojans are going up the field and it looks like that's the half ladies and gentlemen we have a very good half from Brockton boxes and we expect some more things in the second half It must have been because of that terrible goalkeeping fall earlier in the first half. However, though, I heard the boxers have been changing their goalies every half frequently, so that might be another reason. Well, it looks like this is foul on the boxers. 
the Trojans are ready to kick the ball to the net. They are. They will either attack with a cross or go straight for the net like they did the last time. Ball is being kicked. Great cross into the middle, but the Brockton defender just gets the ball with his head. Ball is played out of bounds, and it is Trojans' ball. Trojans throwing the ball right into the Brockton defender, but the, the Trojans are not giving up, and the goalkeeper did a great job saving this one. Waiting for all everybody to go out is a goalkeeper, and he kicks the ball out to center field. The Brockton, Brockton receives the ball, and they're playing one touch game. They're trying to get the ball up the field, but great miss by the goal. One on one, and he just misses the ball. Excellent just save by the, the goalie. Net. Getting Bye. a fingertip to that say, to the ball. Very good job extending his whole entire body out. He has barely touched the ball out of bounds and out of play. Corner kick, Brock and Boxers. The ball will be crossed in by the Boxers into the net to see if they could attack and score another goal. Well, the ball will be kicked from the other corner. <laughs> the other corner. Well, it looks like Brockton has numbers in the box. Goalkeeper up and a defender back ready to play. Everybody's just mixing in the middle, and it's the ball is crossed. High, very high, but the ball is hit by a Brockton defender, and the goalkeeper gets it out. Brockton tries to bicycle kick the ball, but it just misses. Goalkeeper dies off for the ball, misses it, and it is, ah, uh, and it is a goal kick for the Trojans. Lead striker Leandro Texier can be seen warming up right down there, right at the bottom right of your screen. I wonder if he will be coming into the game soon. It'll be a very different change for the attacking side of the Brockton Boxers play. Well, it looks like the Trojans are trying to play a very attackative game, try to get numbers up the field and change the possession of the game how it was the first half. Bridgewater, substitution Bridgewater has a substitution in the game. It looks like they have a lot of substitutions this game. Yes, typically in varsity uh, teams, you have full roster just in case somebody gets hurt. You can just quickly replace them. Oftentimes for multiple positions, such as goalkeepers, midfielders, attacking midfielders, etc., etc. Is there a is there a limited amount of substitutions you could put into the game, just like it is for the pros? Uh, no, there's not a limited number of substitutions. However, though, you can have a maximum roster of 22 players. However, only 18 of those players are allowed to see the field. Why 18? I'm not exactly so sure as to why. But I'm guessing it's just because you want to keep the same players on. Otherwise, it would be very unfair. The Trojans kick the ball, but good job by Brockton defender to get the ball out of the net. And the ball is being played by the goalkeeper, but great, great job by Brockton defender to stop that goal. Right place, right time, and he's ready to play. The ball is kicked out to center field and is being played by Brockton, but the Trojans intercept the ball, and he just kicks the ball just too far. Too strong and too far. The ball is kicked past center field, and Brockton defender is running for it just as the goalkeeper is. The goalkeeper kicks the ball up in the air, and it looks like there's a Brockton defend Brockton player hurt on the field, and he is down. The trainer will be called onto the field to see what is the problem. He looks like he's down on the field, and he looks like he's not going to get up. But Brockton defenseman gets up and off the field. He is limping a little bit, but he looks like he's just going to have to shake it off and run and play the next play. Brockton boxers will play a quick ball back to the goalkeeper in the name of sportsmanship. Goalkeeper thought to pick the ball up. Why do they do that? Well, when the referee stopped the ball, it would have been a drop ball. 
However, the Brockton Boxers decided just to play the ball back to the goalkeeper because they did, after all, stop the game because the Brockton defender was down. Oh. Well, it looks like the Trojans are playing up the field and they want numbers and they want to score. But it looks like Brockton will not give up and they will not let this happen. Well, Trojan has the ball in the middle of the field on the box, but Brockton defender looks like he's running very fast and full steam ahead of him. And the ball is out of bounds, and it is a throw-in for the Trojans. The ball is thrown in ahead of the player, and the Brockton defender is running with the offensive end for the Trojans. And the ball is being played all the way out of bounds. It is a good job. That is a great job by the defender, but it perhaps... Excellent shielding by... Defender number four, Paulo Romalo, to shield the ball from about 15 yards out and let the ball go out of bounds for a goal kick. Goalkeeper will kick off the ball. The ball is kicked off right into the middle of the field to a Brockton player, and the ball is being played up the field with great numbers. Ball is stopped towards the 50-yard line. And Brockton has the ball in the middle of the field, but the Trojans look like they're playing and they want to win, but great foul. This foul by the Trojan, but he gets right up and the ball is going to be played by the Trojans. Very risky uh, slide tackle right there by defender number 24, Junior Xavier, because if uh, that was any more brutal or uh, dangerous, it could have been a yellow card or potentially red card. Well, it looks like the ref has talked to him and told him what the situation had happened, like you said, and to make sure it doesn't happen again. The ball is just played right to the defenseman. He's going to go attack for the goal, but it just fails. And the ball will go out of bounds, and it is a timeout on the field by Brockton. They're going to talk over what is going on and try to come up with a strategy to come attack and play the game right. Despite the fact that the boxers are currently winning the game 2-1, to one, it does not feel that way because in this half so far, the Bridgewater Reign of Trojans have been absolutely dominating the game. Well, it looks like it's a timeout so the Brockton players can stop and talk to to talk to his players to get everything right in order and make sure they are ready to go back out there and score. Well, what do you think is going to be the outcome after this timeout from by the coach? Well, the Brockton coach our seems to have, be having a whole mouthful for his players. I'm guessing he's trying to inspire them, spark some sort of life back into them, because right now the box have been playing as if they are dead. We need the same energy they had in the first half of the first 20 minutes of that game right back into the Brockton boxes to make sure they can end this game with a very with a um, W. The boxers need a goal to lifen themselves up and basically secure a victory as long as they can defend well with a 3-1 to one lead if they get the goal. And at the moment, it looks like the Trojans have the ball in Brockton area, and it will be a throw-in for the Trojans. The ball is being thrown in, but the Brockton defender gets to the ball, and it goes out of bounds again, and it will be the Trojan, it will be Trojan ball. Defender coming in to throw the ball must be a long throw, I'm guessing, because they want people in the box, hopefully to get a foot on it or a head or anything to score the second goal to tie the game. And I guess you was right. The ball is played in the box, but it's going to play back. And oh, very great cross, but he very low pass, and the ball is passed, and it's going up the field with numbers, and he's going up the, up the right side. Is he going to put a move? Great pass, nice ball, get the ball in the box, but it just... It's just a corner kick by Brockton. And just like that, the boxers have some sort of life back, and they had a quick counterattack resulting in a corner kick. It looks like the timeout was very useful by the coach. Very. Ball's put in the box, but it is too far. A very good stop, but the Trojans have the ball. And it looks like it is a throw-in for the Trojans. The 
ball is thrown in by the tr the ball is thrown in by the Trojan is playing by Brock and defenders and they're playing the ball right past center field. That's a great attack by the Trojan. They're playing the ball and they want to win. And it looks like the ball is out of bounds and it is Brockton ball. So far in this half, we've been seeing a lot of physicality. One thing that which I predicted earlier before the game even started, and a quick cross into the box resulting in the goalie picking up the ball. From both sides of the ball, I've seen very, I've seen great physicality in both teams playing with each other and they want to win. Look, Indeed. But we'll, we will see at the end of this game who will play to the zero, zero, zero and want to win this game. The ball is played up, the, the striker shots the ball and he keeps going, he is up the field. It looks like he wants to, oh, very nice cross into the net. And he looks like he wants to shoot, but he just misses it. And he passes the ball in the box and we just lose it. But Brockton has the ball and he just misses the ball and the Trojans have the ball. And it looks like it is a foul on Brockton. Trojan ball. Oh, Brockton ball, foul on the Trojan. The ball will be kicked approximately at the 40-yard line. Quick restart. Boxers must want to get the ball going. They do not want to sit around. They are thirsty for a goal. Great pass into the net. It looks like the goalkeeper is coming out. And the goalkeeper had a great effect to the ball. And it looks like it's a corner kick by for the Boxers. Corner kick by the box. Corner kick by the boxes, and it looks like they have numbers in the box. Goalkeeper up, and a defender. The ball is crossing the net. The goalkeeper is out the net, but the ball is just played too wide, and it is going back up the field. Defender tries to bring the ball back, and we and the Brockton boxes will play one touch pass and try to get the ball back to the field. And there's a foul by the Trojans, and it is Brockton ball. Ball be placed down toward a little bit past the halfway line, and Brockton def will play the ball. Great pass by Brockton. The ball is played inside the box, but it looks like they don't have a lot of attackmen, and the ball is just played too wide, and it is a throw in for the Trojan. Def and we have substitutions in the game. Number 10 goes in for the Brockton boxers. And we have two substitutions by the Bridgewater. Great hit with the ball by the chest. And oh, very nice cross to the ball. And it looks like the Trojans are playing on the floor. And great attack by number seven for Brockton. He looks like he's ready to play. The ball is being thrown in by the Trojans. They're playing the ball fast, but Brockton gets the ball back. And it's Brockton throwing. Ball will be thrown in by Brockton defense mid. Oh, nice one touch pass back to the player. Oh, great touches by. Oh, he's going up the right side of the field. He looks like what he wants to do, but he's beating the defender by the pace. And the ball just goes out of bounds. And it looks like it is a throw in for Brockton. Well, it looks like the Brockton are hungry and they're playing with the same fierce energy they had since the first quarter. And it we have about approximately 27 minutes left in the second half. And if the Trojans want to do something, they have to do something now because it looks like the Brockton boxes are going in and they want to score. Throwing by the boxes, very low throwing, one touch pass. The ball is played back to the defenseman. The ball is crossed into the box. The ball is played by Brockton. And he is fouled, but he gets right back up and he plays the ball right into the center. And it looks like it is Brockton throw in. Brockton boxers are knocking on the door, looking for one more goal, possibly more, to just basically kill any spirit of BR trying to get back in the game. 
But the question is, will they get it? Ball is thrown in, Brock, and it looks like a BR defender comes into the play, and it is a corner kick. And it is a corner kick, and it looks like Brockton have numbers in the box. <laughs> the ball is kicked and crossed. It looks like a little too high, but Brockton is playing the ball, and Trojan hits the ball, and he tries to basically get the ball into the net, but it's just it's a dangerous sight to see when a, def when a player just kisses his leg up and does not notice where he's going to shoot the ball. It is a foul and Trojan ball. Very dangerous attempt right there. Who lucky we did not see a card shown to the Brockton player for a high kick. Almost, or even possibly did, absolutely kick him in the head. Brockton has the ball all halfway through the field. It looks like they have numbers going up the field. The ball is passed back, but it is a foul by the Trojans. And Brockton play gets back up real quick, and they're playing the ball. They're ready to play. They have energy. They have fierceness. The ball is being passed back, and it looks like we have a game, ladies and gentlemen. Like, Harold, like George said from the beginning of the game, this is going to be a very tough match, and Brockton, if they're going to win, they have to dig deep, and they have to end this game just how they started. It looks like it is a throw in for Brockton. Brockton throws in the ball. T one touch pass gets across into the box. Try to get a nice ass shoot, but the and Trojans get the ball out the box, but he is but Brockton receives the ball in header by the center field. It is throw in by the Trojans. But there's substitution by BR to get onto the field. Number three substitution, number 21 substitution, and number 23 substitution by BR. It, will, it looks like they want to get some fresh feet into the game, and they want to score. Oh, the ball is played by Brockton, but BR just intercepts it, and Brockton still has the ball into BR's territory. It looks like they're not, they don't want to stop, they want to play, they want to end this game, and they want to score. The ball is passing to the middle of the field. Brockton passes the ball back up the field. Oh, very nice cross, but I think he just slipped to the ball. But thank God there was a defender in the game, and the ball is being crossed. But then there's another crucial play, and it is a corner for Brockton. And George, I see some sights of some ex Brockton high school players that have championship that won the championship from last year. So wouldn't you say that team was different? Last year's team was absolutely incredible. A lot of their players going on to play in college. That team was fantastic. And it looks like last year their team had they played together, they had love and they had a great leadership by their captain. They really did. Well the ball is kicked in. In the corner, one touch pass. The ball is, looks like it's going to be crossed into the net. But Trojan defender stops the ball, and the ball looks like it's going up the field for the Trojan. But Brockton just won't stop. Get the ball back onto the left side of the field. Ball is being thrown in by Brockton. Very nice throw into the game. Brockton is stuck between defender. Very nice pass out there. Can he get to the ball? But it is just too far and too wide out for him. Throw in by BR Trojans. Ball's being thrown in, but Brockton immediately intercepts the ball. But Trojans gets the ball back, trying to play one touch. But Brockton is always at the right place, right time, know how to play the game, and they're ready to score. There is a, def there is a player on the field, and the refs will stop the game. It looks like it is a crucial. It looks like it wasn't that bad of an injury. The Brockton play just gets right back up, ready to play the game. Brock defender seems very frustrated, claiming that apparently he was either elbowed or pushed. However, the refs did not see this. Play continues. 
Well, Brockton will kick off, will kick from the same exact spot that the Chirosian scored from last time. What will he do? Will he cross the ball? He crossed the ball into the net. Brockton will head the ball, and it's just too far, too wide, and it is a kick for the goalkeeper. Brockton's execution in the final third in the second half has been very sloppy. I feel like if they really want to secure the game and put it away early, they need to start doing better. Well, Brockton had the ball in their possession, and then there's another goal kick. Chances like that are absolutely ruining the chances of winning this game. If BR is able to get a quick counterattack or maybe an easy goal, and Brockton still executes like the way they are, they'd be looking at one point if they're lucky. Well, Brockton will get, try to get the ball up to the field and try to get more numbers into the box. Looks like this. The strikers try to play the ball into the net, and it was, it's going to be headed by Brockton player, and it is another goal kick. Oh, my fault, ladies and gentlemen. It is another corner by Brockton. This corner, you can see them not going up for a short pass. They're just going to go full on into the box with a long cr with a long cross. Big bodies in the box. Let's see if they can finally put one away. It looks like Brockton will have two substitutions onto the field to get fresh heads into the game and ready to play. And it looks like these two players are very, very inspirational to play. The ball is being crossed into the net. Goalkeeper misses it, and it is so close onto the net. Misses wide right. Those and chances need to absolutely be converted to goals. However, Brockton's execution in the final third has been very sloppy. No goal. The ball is kicked off by Trojan goalkeeper, and Trojans receive the ball, but Brockton intercepts the ball real quick, just like it's been going on the whole game. It looks like it's been uh, it's been a more of Brockton possession game more than the Trojans want the ball. The Trojans look like they're ready to attack, but they don't want to play the ball. Brockton try, the defender tries to get the ball at the game, and Brockton play gets his cleat into the game, and it looks like something happened. But it's just a little Charlie, just a little hurt. Brockton play is going up the field with great speed, great pace, and great mobility. It looks like he's looking for his defenders, but the Trojans just play the ball and get it out of the game. It is a throw-in for the Brockton boxers. Brockton's movement has been very good throughout this entire game. A lot of pace, a lot of mobility, and a lot of speed have been very helpful for them so far. Brockton throws the ball in and immediately are going for the attack. It is Trojan's ball. Well, George, it looks like the lights are coming. It looks like somebody's hurt on the field and the trainer is going to see what is going on. And there's a t Brockton injury timeout on the field. Well, after the injury timeout, it looks like the Trojans will put in five substitutions into the game to change what is going on. But Brockton, his team is going in together to talk about what's going on. And the trainer, Jerry, is looking at the player. Well, George, as we come into the close to the end of this game, tell me a little bit more about yourself. What do you what do you do on a daily basis? But like like after practice, how how are you like in the school? How's your attitude and everything like that towards, um, what your junior year? Junior year, yes. Junior year. How 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 are you taking on this junior year? Taking it on head first, you know. Add uh, attitude is key. You know, I want to keep my head up. Especially a lot of hard classes, SATs coming up soon. Yeah, that's cru that's a, that is a crucial part of junior year, and you have to take that. And well, as I'm going, as I'm in my senior year at this school, I can say that it has been a great 
four years in it. And like the teacher said, it will fly by. They really do. You know, believe that first, but woke up one morning and first day of junior year. Well, the ball is being thrown in through the Trojans, and the Trojans will play the ball. And the defend and it looks like the defender or is on the field and he is kind of hurt. But the trainer will look at him, will take a look at him and see if everything's all right. Brockton gets the ball into the box and they're playing with numbers and it looks like they have their big center field man into the game and he is playing to score. He's not playing by himself, he's playing to score. Great pass, but it's just too soft and right onto the goal kick. Five substitution in for Bridgewater Raynham, and it looks like they want to get a whole new lineup in the game. The ball is being played at the middle of Phil Brockton has the ball, and that is a nice kick to get the ball out of the playing area for Brockton. It's throwing for the Trojans, and the ball is being thrown very far and out in front of the play. And Brockton has the ball onto the offensive side of the field, and it looks like Trojan is playing very attackative, and they want to hurt. They want to stop Brockton, but that is a good stop by the Trojans, and it looks like it is a corner kick. Balls kicked into the box and nice header, but just misses wide right. Powerful header coming right off the head of striker Leandro. Excellent header, just slightly off target. And it, it and it looks like it is a kick for the Trojans. The ball is kicked right into the middle of the field, but it looks like Brockton will intercept the ball. And I am the Trojan has the ball, and it is Brockton ball right onto the field. The ball is being thrown to Brockton and Brockton is playing the they're playing the ball together. They're playing to win and they look and that, that is a nice cross to try to get the ball into the box, but it failed and brought in the Trojan defenseman. Oh that is a very, very crucial tackle by Brockton player. And it looks like there's a they're both on the field hurt and it could be a crucial injury to both sides. Very dangerous play. Seems like the referee will not be giving out any cards so far. It looks like that play was it, that play was very powerful by the um, offensive men, but it looks like it is Brockton ball and within 15 minutes to play this game. The score is still two to one, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like Brockton is trying to get up on the board. Good cross into the middle of the box, and it looks like it's gonna be a nice kick, but the goalkeeper scoops the ball up for the Trojans. The ball is being kicked out and tried to get into Brockton territory, but it looks like this game, the ball has not been played toward Brockton area. The Trojans look like they're coming fierce and they're ready. They the Trojans want. come storming into the Brockton half. They a lot like of power, a lot of emotion coming from the Trojan bench. The ball will be thrown in by Brockton to get onto the field. And the ball is being played onto the middle of the field. And Brockton is playing with each other. And the ball looks like it might. Never mind. The ball is being played by Brockton defenseman. The ball is being kicked upfield by the center field man. Ball's in the middle of the field. Looks like they're going to wide right, but the Trojans just stop it and get the ball out of play. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with 14 minutes left on the game, Brockton has to throw in, and it looks like this is going to be a very controversial game to see how it ends. Trojan throw in deep in their own half. Seems like going long, want to get it out of their own end. 
However, defender Luis is able to push it back into the Trojan half. A lot of options, looking for a cross. Trojans try to clear the ball. Brockton picks it up in the middle. Threw ball right down the center. Goalkeeper picks it up. Goalkeeper holding onto the ball. Most likely going to punch it. Wants to get it as far away from his net as possible. Low punt, aiming for a bounce. Denied by the Brockton midfield. Trojans ball. Moving the ball forward. Brockton's taking the ball with his defender. No foul given. Trojans move the ball and right into the central area. Looking for a long through ball. Goalkeeper coming out and absolutely clearing the ball. Goalkeeper taking out. Referees blow the whistle. Game has been stopped. Card shown to number 15 for the Trojans. Logan Bento has to be immediately removed off the field to substitute on by number two. Number 15 took out the goalkeeper. Brockton are most likely looking for a long kick, trying to push the ball up the field, looking for that third goal. Ball bouncing in the BR third, a missed kick by the Trojan defender. However, ball is cleared out by the Trojan midfield. Brockton pick it up in the central area, cleared again. Boxer throwing right at the edge of their own half. Trojans play it back, want to hold on to possession, and now they look to move the ball forward. Trojans having numbers in the final third. Switching the ball over to number 12. Taking a shot and just off target. Goal kick to be taken by defender number two. Leandro Barros. Very good kick, approximately 55 plus yards. Trojan throw in. Quickly done, wanting to get the clock going. Quick switch of the fields by defender. Nice skill by the Brockton defender. Brockton pushes the ball back, holding on to possession. 10 minutes left in the game. Brockton up 2-1, through ball, picked up by the goalie. Long punt, looking for the striker, cleared away by the defender. Brockton holding on to the ball. Pushing the ball back all the way down to their goalkeeper. 
goal, goal, goalkeeper playing it all the way up. Trojan throw in. Referee wanted the Trojans to push the ball back to redo the throw in. Trojan bench is all on their feet. Meanwhile, the Brockett bench is calmly sitting down. Trojans are still looking for the second goal that equalized the game. Boxers are up two to one. Clock has been stopped while the referee wants a word with multiple BR players and a Brockton forward. Two Bridgewater's random substitutions, one Brockton substitution. Long throw taken by BR, trying to move the ball up the field. Denied by Brockton, another BR throw in. Brockton moving the ball into the open area. Quick counter attack with numbers. No foul given. Brockton holding the ball right on the line. Brockton throwing. Quick play into the defense. Looking for the quick switch. Doesn't happen. Playing the ball back to the defenders once again to hold into possession. Make sure BR does not get the ball. Looking for the cross. Long shot taken, but just barely outside. BR goal kick. Referee signals to stop the time. Time goes on, time resumed. Goal kick taken. Ball's taken up in the central area by the Brockton midfield. Looking for the ball forward. Held on. Multiple short, quick passes. Ball is now out wide. And a VR throw in deep in their own half. Throw and taken in. BR moving the ball up the field, however, taking quickly back by the Brockton defense. Long kick taken by BR. Switching the ball. Another long through ball by the BR. And quick headed back by the Brockton defense to the goalkeeper, allowing him to pick the ball up, up with his hands. Punted by the 
goal, uh, Brockton goalkeeper. Good maneuver, foul given, Brockton ball. Referee signaling to back up, give the player 10 yards. <laughs> BR player injured coming slowly off the field, looking for the substitute. Number 21 will replace him. Number 14 coming off, 21 on. Brockton looking for the long free kick here. And it's taken, picked up by the BR defense, held up in the middle, in quite a pickle, and a long kick taken. Oh, and goalie flicked it out of bounds, preventing it from going in the back of the net. Brockton corner kick. Brockton looking to put one in the back of the net. Long ball, just over hit by just a little bit. BR throwing deep in their own half again. Taken up by the Brockton boxers. Pass back to the to the defense, wants to hold on to the ball, prevent BR from having any chance to score. Brock working the sidelines, looking for the cross, ball's in the middle, and BR clears it. Long shot taken by Luis, and goalkeeper picks it quickly up. Quick play, rolls it wide, looking for the quick restart, pushing the ball up very fast, Playing to the striker. Striker loses the ball. Defender picks it up. Looking for the switch. Through ball number 16. Just slightly over hit. Goalkeeper picks it up. Looking wide. Throws it to his defender number 12. He plays it up the field. Out of bounds. Brock can throw it. Looking for the through ball, denied by the Brockton defender. Brockton holding possession in the midfield. Lots of short, quick passes. Taking the ball out wide, working the width. Played into the middle. Another small pass and a long shot taken, easily picked up by the goalie. Quick punt, looking for the counter attack, does not happen. Three minutes left to play. Brockton thrown quickly taken. Switch the field, looking to open up some gaps in the defense does not happen. Working the width yet again, looking for that cross, taken down the sidelines. Great dribbling job done by the Brockton forward. Quick ball out, scooped up in the midfield. BR pushing the ball forward, looking for something. BR throwing right at the 50. Substitution coming in for Bridgewater Raynham. Number 14 replacing number 21.
Less than two minutes remaining in the game. BR is down by one goal. Brockton two, Ridgewater Raynham one. If Bridgewater Arena want any chance of securing a point, they need to score a goal and it needs to happen now. They need to hold onto the ball and push the ball forward, but it's not happening because Brockton's putting a lot of pressure onto the ball. Brockton throwing right at central field. Throwing taken. Quick ball up by the Bridgewater Random defender. Looking for something, looking for any chance. Does not happen. Ball played back, holding onto possession and a long kick. Go, go, go. Play has stopped, quick foul. But Brockton's gonna take their time with this. and wait for everyone to get up the field. Short pass playing into the central area, playing it back out wide. Raiden picked it up, pushing the ball forward, looking for something, picked up by the Brockton midfielder. Trying to find a ball out wide, does not happen. Ridge Raiden with a quick, long ball, trying to clear it, trying to find something. Brockton goalkeeper picks the ball up and slows down the game. Ball wide for Brockton, looking for something. Bridgewater Random throwing in their own half. In the Brockton half, sorry. Quick substitution taken. Number 17 replacing number 34. Bridgewater Random looking for a long throw and looking for one last chance. Does not happen. Quick Brit quick foul happened. Bridgewater Random foul deep into Brockton's own half. Approximately 25 yards out, right on the line. Looking for something, goalkeeper pushed up. I repeat, goalkeeper has pushed up, adding an extra player to the attack. This may be their last chance. Brockton needs to defend this if they want to take the three points home. Picked up by the Brockton goalkeeper, punted quickly away. And that is the game. Your home team, Brockton Boxers, beats Bridgewater Raynham 2-1 final score.